Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Ordinal Market video, episode 54. And you can see, I finally got the big breakthrough I needed, and now it is time to get a ton of singularity levels. So, with I have like E50 dark manifolds or some, something like that. Yeah, it's E50. And this is going to allow me to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 singularity levels. This is huge. My singularity has went from 84 to 104. I can, and I can probably get even more out of this. And yeah, this is insane. I now have a bunch more functions here. It's not really enough to get all that much, but it's still really, it's just, it's just amazing to even get this far at all. So I'm not exactly sure how far I want to grind within this. Um, probably should get this factor. You know, probably does nothing. Um, and I, I'm, again, I'm not sure how far I should push. I probably want to get up to E51, E51, e just so I can get the half decrementing growth below omega the omega 3, otherwise double it. And then just a couple more singularity levels. Like, I, I can now get one, and get, now get another singularity level, and I can probably get another one after this, putting me at a singularity level of 106. This should be huge. And here is the 106th decrementing level, which means that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push to E51 and I'm gonna just trying to see what effect this is gonna have on the other Omega challenges. Because I feel like I'm gonna try to do that like next, like maybe Omega Challenge 2. Because having a lot more singularity levels means I'm gonna have a lot more manifolds, which means a lot more um incrementy. So this should allow me to get a few more singularity levels out of this and just a lot more completions, which will allow me to get even more. I mean, this game is very complicated, but at this point, I'm really starting to understand stuff. I mean, I still don't really understand all that much because I didn't get the boosters before, and you probably were screaming at me last episode or two episodes ago or whatever it was. So, yeah, now I'm close to EE51. Decremeni, I probably also want to just get reduce the potency of Decremeni a little bit. Get a few more dark manifolds. It's not really going to do that much. Um, maybe I could try to get Singularity 107. Like, I'm already 80% of the way there. So, I'm, I'm just going just to do it. Get Singularity level 107. And I think I just need 5.7051. So, boom. Singularity of 107. So, now I'm going to exit the challenge. I'm going to try another one. So, Omega Challenge 2, and this is going to be interesting. I definitely want to increase my Singularity level at this point, and I, I think I still have these completions. Yeah, it's 16. Probably should turn on the auto procedure for um, factor boosts, and or for booster upgrades, just so I can get higher Singularity. So, right now, I'm getting enough incrementy that I can actually, I, I no, these do nothing, so. Well, at least I'm getting E60 incrementy. I think the rec, my record though is um, E63 or something. So this actually isn't gonna do as much as I thought it, it would because I just, I just, I think I was grinding in this for multiple days and that's why. So, I mean, yes, I could get to like E62 or E63 and get more, but I s right now I sort of want, want quicker stuff than that. So instead I will get this and actually no, what was I doing? I didn't have the singularity upgrades. What am I doing? An idiot. Well, okay, whatever. It, I didn't lose all that much progression. All I need to do is do this because this auto resets. So this means I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get all of these going. There I should probably get yeah E70 incrementy. Uh, it's interesting how I how that turned out to be about what it was like either E60 incrementy. But now I have E70 something in incrementy. I can probably get singularity high enough to get a few more. This is gonna allow me to get yeah boosting the doubling all the way to 3.37. Um, not exactly sure how much incrementy I want to go for, but I feel like maybe this is good. Like this is a good amount of completions of this Omega challenge. Boosting the doubling to 
3.39, that's really good. It's going to allow me to get a lot more incrementy in other challenges. So I will exit this, go into Omega Challenge 3, and essentially just do the same thing. Um, get all of these, get all the singularity stuff. Just do the same build as before. Or I get this. And this should allow me if I get the right singularity level. So like maybe 42. This is going to allow me to get a ton of completions. This, even though it's really not going to do all that much. Also, it's I'm barely getting, I'm not actually getting all that many completions. I think a better idea is just not go into an Omega Challenge and do something else rather than an Omega Challenge because yes, the Omega Challenges are nice to beat, but I'm not really getting that much more at this point. So I'm going to exit the Omega Challenge and just do what like a normal grinding for factor boosts collapse. So um, I probably yeah, I, want, I want to turn back on the factor boost auto procedure. Um, just so I can get as much as I can. Well, let's see. Um, the grind to two E19 boosters is now only takes like a minute or so, especially if I upgrade the singularity to, looks like this is actually the most efficient level right now. Wow. So yeah, this is quite powerful. I'll, all I need to do is just get two E19 boosters and then the um, factor boost per second will shoot up. It's already 77 million without that upgrade. So with that upgrade, it's probably going to be like 200 million factor boost per second. Like already getting pretty close to 500 million factor boosts per second, which will unlock the next big thing. And maybe also I want more cardinals because um, there, I mean, there there still is this challenge nine thing that I have never. I I feel like I'm just always the same distance away from it, but now it's a little faster. I mean, at least I'm close to a, another singularity level from Cardinals for like the first time in months. So, there's that. Okay, now I have this upgrade and let's see how powerful it is. 231 million factor boosts per second. And now level 70 is the most efficient singularity level. So this is doing a lot. But I want I want to try one more thing. And this is getting incrementing. So if I turn off this again... I, let, let's see how much increment I'm going to be able to get. This is E103 already, which is a really good sign. I'm only at Singularity 70. I can go all the way up to like 107. So you can also see this ordinal change. Like I think the max is like 83 or something like that. You're going to see, um, boom, Psi sub 1 of Omega sub 2. So yeah, that means the ordinal is going to be even more complicated. I think right now the most efficient Singularity is around 86. That seems like where the sweet spot is. And actually, I got some ordinal levels there. So, wow, ordinal level is 153, whatever that means. So, yeah, maybe I should even go up to 87, get these upgrades so I can get this and this. That's enough to get me one, two, three manifolds. That's three more singularity levels right there. So... I'm going to go up to 90, because now the max is 110. And this should... I'm not exactly sure what I... I feel like I, wa I want to get up to E114, and then if I can do that and get up to E115, which probably should take only about 5 minutes or less, if I get all the way up to there, I will be able to get at least another singularity level, if not more. Like, maybe it'll be two singularity levels. Okay, here it is. E115 incrementing. It's one more singularity level, so that's at least doing something. And now I think I should probably just grind, try to grind some factor boosts because I'm going to want more cardinals at this point. I've heard that challenge 9 becomes important at this point in the game, so I'm not even going to know my challenge. What am I doing? And yeah, just turn, on, turn back on the factor boost auto procedure and then lower the singularity levels. It's way too high. And let's see, it looks like the most efficient singularity level right now is 73, but I feel like 76 will be most efficient later on. So this is way more than I was getting before. I was getting 6 million per second before. This is about 40 times that, which means that what took 40 hours before, because yes, these runs were taking many hours, would take is just gonna take one hour. This is huge. Like, getting up to a trillion factor boosts 
seemed like was like a multi-day effort, like sometimes a week-long effort. But now getting up to a trillion factor boosts is just gonna take an hour or so. So that, that this is huge. Just getting just seeing this get this far, and also it's over halfway to 500 million factor boosts per second to unlock the next set of Omega challenges. So I really not, I could try to do the Omega challenges more, but I think I just want to get more factor boosts and just more boosters and more, more all of that stuff. So I can just, I don't know, maybe this is not the best decision, but at the very least I can see how close I can get to 500 million factor boosts per second. So, um, yeah, also I can get these, but they do nothing in this sort of run. And achievements, I'm, all, I'm only at 62. Again, it's probably, um, I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably not getting these just because, I'm actually, speak, yeah, I, I'm going to need a lot more incrementy than what I currently have. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple hours later, and I have 3.8 trillion factor boosts which is quite a lot and this right now 82 is the most optimal singularity level and what i'm gonna do now is again try to grind some incrementy so this this should be a lot more successful than before because i have way more factor boosts and of course i, I just need to get to the right singularity level so let's see 96 is that good 97 um you can see i'm getting E116 every second, so it's going to allow me to at least get a double the pr production of incrementi and a multiply incrementi by 1.2. Um, but other than that, it's not really going to do all that much. I could try to grind all the way out to E120, but I don't really. I mean, it's, it might be worth it, but I'm not sure if I'm willing to go through all that. I mean, actually, with the quadratic growth of incrementi, it, it may be worth it like maybe if i go singularity level 100 um that would be a good idea if i want to get all the way up to e120 and i'll probably just do that off camera and yeah see in a bit okay i'm back a few minutes later and i can now get this which means one more manifold so that means the max singularity level is now 112 and i think what i'm just gonna do I want to just do one thing for the lulls, um, and this is, well first turn on this, but then turn off the factor shift auto procedure, and then um, go down with the singularity to level one, just so I can I can do this. This is what I want to do. I, I want to see how far I can get in base four. So I'm right now I'm in base four, if I just max everything, I can get all the way to, um, Omega to the omega cube plus omega square plus three. And I don't think increasing the singularity increases the speed at all. Yeah, like it's, it's slower when I increase the singularity. So I just wanted to do that um, for the lulls just, just because I, I just, really, I just wanted to see how far I could get in base four. So, okay, N now time for actually grinding factor boosts because I'm going to do a big factor boost grinding session. So... 83 is now the optimal singularity level. So I'm just going to be grinding as many factor boosts as I can. I'm up to 335 that, um, million per second. And yeah, I'm, so, I'm right now I'm sort of getting ahead with the recordings versus the episodes. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.